WMHC, the network of the Westport Museum for History and Culture, in partnership with CT Bites, presents the History Happy Hour, part of Westport Museum's historic foodways programming, in support of the hard-hit Connecticut restaurant industry. This series offers you history you can drink to via the talents of Connecticut's best bartenders and mixologists. Please support their establishments. Today's cocktail is the Sherry Flip, bartender Craig Van Trees' take on a classic 18th century tavern drink. In 18th and 19th century America, taverns provided drinks, meals, and even lodging. A place where men met, socialized, and did business, taverns could be rough and ready watering holes or high-end establishments. During the Revolutionary War, taverns were essential for spies to gather and distribute information. Men like Austin Rowe, a member of George Washington's Culper Spy Ring, was a Long Island taverner. According to legend, in 1780, General Washington met Culper ringleader Colonel Benjamin Talmadge at Westport's Marvin Tavern. Taverns served a variety of drinks, including beer, wine, and spirits. Mixed drinks like the Flip were heavily spiced and sweetened. A common sailor's drink, the Flip featured beer, rum, and molasses that was heated with a hot iron and served warm. And now, the Sherry Flip by Craig Ventrice. Hi everybody, I'm Craig Ventrice. You might recognize me from my time at the Welk, Jessa Paul, and Cowany behind their bars. I currently work for a wine and spirits importer called Highland Imports. Uh, we distribute in Connecticut, but staff and the folks at TT Bites and the Westport Museum for History and Culture have gotten together and they're running a piece on classic cocktails. Uh, so I'm going to make a flip cocktail for you today. It's an interesting category of cocktails. Uh, the history goes back as, as early as the late 1700s. Sailors would drink some combination of beer, rum, molasses, a whole egg and then heated, um, either with a hot iron or on a stovetop to get the egg to froth. Um, that drink was adapted in the late 19th century by a gentleman named Jerry Thomas uh, in a book called How to Mix Cocktails. He had a couple of variations of the drink, which essentially became a shaken drink served cold, uh, straight up with either a spirit or a fortified wine, some kind of sweetener, and a whole egg. So that's the version that we're gonna use today. Um, I'm making Jerry Thomas's version of a sherry flip, um, which calls for an Oloroso sherry. I'm using Bodega Lustau's East India Solera sherry, which is a, a mildly sweeter version of an Oloroso. Typically, you would want a dry Oloroso. Um, you're gonna also need some sweetener. So I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup, which is just equal parts by volume of cane sugar and water. I'm using a whole egg, just a whole chicken egg. You heard me right, it's a whole egg. You're gonna need some ice. You're going to need glassware. I like small coupettes when I'm serving flips or frothy drinks. Um, so I'm doing one serving in the shaker, but I'm gonna split it into two glasses just in case you wanna drink it with a friend. You're gonna need a whole clove of nutmeg and a microplane to grate that over the top for garnish. You're gonna need a jigger or some kind of measuring tool that goes down to the half ounce and you're gonna need your cocktail shaker. You're going to need a strainer as well, and that should do it. So, let's build this drink. We're gonna start with the egg. Uh, when I make cocktails with egg whites or whole eggs, I will always start with the egg. A couple of reasons for that. If you break some shell into the shaker, or if you're using just the egg white, and you get a little yolk in the shaker, it allows you to dump it if you make a mistake without wasting any booze, which is important, especially these days. So the whole egg is in the shaker. We're gonna do a half ounce of the simple syrup that I mentioned earlier. So a half ounce of the simple syrup. And then the last ingredient in this three ingredient drink is the sherry. So we are going to do two full ounces of this East India Solera Oloroso sherry. So just to recap, we've got a whole egg. We've got half ounce of simple syrup, two ounces of sherry. Now comes the fun part. This drink, because of the egg, we're gonna wanna really froth and whip that egg to incorporate it. You don't want whole pieces of yolk or egg white in your drink floating around. One thing that's very important with dry shaking cocktails, which is what we're about to do, make sure your shaker is sealed. If you don't, it will explode. As you're adding air into the shaker as you shake it and whip this uh, egg into a meringue. So you don't want it to explode and wear egg white all over you or egg yolk all over you, it doesn't smell great. Uh, what I would teach my bartenders is to make sure that the opening in the shaker is facing you. However, if you have house guests that you don't particularly like, you could face it right at them just in case there isn't a mistake, it's not on you. That said, we're gonna shake this with no ice in the shaker for about 30 seconds, very vigorously to froth this, to froth this drink up, excuse me. So 
Notice that short kind of circular motion. That's gonna, what you're essentially doing is you're making a meringue. Think of it like you're making a dessert um, or whisking eggs to scramble them. Just back and forth isn't exactly gonna do the job. You wanna get as much air introduced into that egg and agitate that egg as you can. Some bartenders prefer a reverse dry shake, meaning you would shake with ice first and then without ice afterwards. I like the egg to be kind of incorporated into the drink rather than just sit on top as a big foam. So I dry shake first. Won't take much to knock on the side of that shaker and open the shaker tin because there was so much air in there. So now what we're gonna do is add ice. Typically when I'm making a shake and drink, I would fill the shaker tin with ice just because I wanna get it cold fast without diluting the drink too much. Just a few cubes for a full egg drink is gonna be what you want. But all you really wanna do is chill it down. Because this is a low ABV cocktail with sherry, we're not gonna want all that dilution because it's already a pretty light drink. That should do it. Let's go ahead and get our glassware and strain this puppy in. See that beautiful texture, really creamy, kind of silky and velvety, heavily incorporated, almost kind of like a custard at first. What you'll see is over time, this drink will start to separate and that foam cocktail will definitely rise to the top. Create a little nutmeg for garnish mainly for aroma. If you don't have nutmeg handy, you could use cinnamon as well. But this drink will be nice, rich, creamy, sweet for a nice little after dinner treat. And that's the Flip Cocktail. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of the History Happy Hour, where you can raise a glass to the past. For these recipes, music, and more, visit virtualhistorywestport.org. Join us next time when we highlight the old-fashioned, a 200-year-old cocktail made popular in the 1960s.